Welcome back, this is Nicholas from Morales and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can work with cloud functions uh, but not instead of writing them here in the admin panel, you can uh, write them in your IDE of choice. To do that, you um, follow these instructions. You can also find them in the documentation under cloud functions and um, writing your cloud, cloud functions in your favorite IDE. So to do that, you just follow these instructions. You copy um, this line of code if you haven't installed the Morales admin CLI yet. Then you just uh, paste that into your uh, terminal, have that in uh, install, and then um, you uh, go back here and copy this line of code. This line of code will contain uh, your API key and secret um, as, uh, as well as your um, specific um, server and then it wants you to specify the the path to a javascript file that will contain the cloud functions that will be synced to this window here so if we uh, go back to our code and paste this here we need to as mentioned specify the path to the file so i'm already standing in my folder right now for demo purposes where i've placed this cloud functions.js file so if I now just do dot slash and press just press a C as in cloud functions and then press tab, then it autofills for me and then I press enter and uh, now uh, we are syncing. So let's try this out now. So if we do um, uh, Morales. Uh, Morales cloud endpoint. I'm using one of the snippets here. So just to define an endpoint, um, test uh, CLI like that. And then I save. You see here that it says file uploaded correctly, just as I saved. So if we go back now to uh, here, you don't see it, but if you uh, refresh and open up, there's our code. So uh, in this way, you don't need to constantly be uh, in here and have the admin panel open and I'll tab back and forth. You can still work in your uh, preferred uh, ID just beside your um, client code and it's really, really nice and it saves a lot of time. So I hope you found it useful. Make sure to hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video and see you in another tutorial.